Hey y'all, Disco Biker here, uh, Barefoot Acrylics, slash Barefoot Acrylics. Okay, trying to do this all getting resin in my hair, but I mixed up some resin and I've been covering these uh, little glasses that I did. I got two over there, then I remembered I did not hit the record on my camera. So I've got some resin mixed up and um, I'm using some advice by uh, Carrie. Uh, Carrie's Creations and she said use a plastic spoon to mix instead of wood or use plastic item plastic or metal instead of wood so I did that I scraped my cup clean with the wood stick but then I did my stirring uh, with the plastic and seems to be working quite well so far I've got my little silicone tray filled I'll show you in a minute if I remember um, and they're shaped like kitty cats like black cats and I put some uh, resin in there and I'm going to drop little trinkets in there like I got berries I got a shell I got a little thing uh, a tag from an animal you know like a collar tag it says got bones on it and just got a couple things there that I thought would be cute in the molds and I got a bee in that thing there that my niece caught for me so I'm gonna put a bee in one of them just to be fun for ha Halloween's coming up so I bought that cat mold. I was at Myers and it just, you know, I thought, well, let me go check, see what they have for silicone molds. So I looked in different departments and uh, that's what I came up with so far as the kitty cat. Alrighty. Got another one here. Another cup. I'm getting low on my plastic cups. It's time to send my hubby to town. Ah. Okay, I'm going to move these out of the way so I don't destroy them. I still have to take the torch to them, get the air bubbles, but I'll do that in a minute. Okay. This one. I was putting two scoops on it, but I think one scoop would be plenty. These little glasses. And I got these for practically nothing at a yard sale. And uh, it's fun to practice with and just get something cheap from a yard sale or a flea market. And I took the silver Sharpie and I put my initials on the bottom with the year. I wanted to see how that reacted with the resin. So far, so good. Okay. I got this one right here. I have a cast iron candle holder that this sits in. And um, a while back this summer when I was painting them, I had small, medium, large. This is small. And while I was moving the medium one to uh, dry, I slipped it slipped and fell and it smashed in the smithereens and it was so beautiful but anyways I got the cast iron uh, holders for it and um, it'll be really nice placed in there and uh, either just for decorative purposes or maybe stick a candle in there and light it and see how it glows I don't know how it would glow with this uh, these dark colors but it could be pretty cool all right beautiful I've got all kinds of projects in the making, and I, uh, you guys haven't seen the half of it. But yeah, i got a lot of ideas ruminating in my head. So, whoa, I almost killed that one right there. Woo! Put it on this baby. There, it just gives a little pedestal. And then I want to do my daughter's real quick. My daughter loves this vase, so I'm going to do that for her. I should have removed that ahead of time. Okay, let's put this over here. All right. There we go. And I wrote my name on the bottom of this one in the year, so my daughter will look at it one day and my granddaughter and say, oh, my mama slash grandma did that. So, yeah. You know what? I got some pottery that I did like 22 years ago when I was in college. I wonder if any of it would look cool with resin on it. I mean, because they've been glazed and everything, but I'll have to look at some of the, like the bowl and stuff and see. It won't need it, but it would give it a protection, so I don't know. I'll have to check it out and see. All right, Nicole, I'm going to get this covered. All right, nice and covered. Russian slippery. Okay. I've got more to cover, but I'm going to stop right here and start 
blasting the air bubbles a little bit. It's not too many. This one's got quite a few, but the other ones are doing all right. Get rid of them air bubbles. All right. And uh, I got some more stuff to do, so let me stop the tape and I'll start a new one since I don't have an editing program. I'll just do a new one and see what's coming up next. Ciao.